In this video, I'm gonna show you four mistakes that players make when they take relief from a cart path. Mistake number one is touching the ball before you know what you're gonna do with it. This isn't gonna happen all the time, but if you lift the ball and then realize that your nearest point of complete relief puts you in a really tough spot, and you decide that you're actually better off playing it as it lies, you can replace the ball on its original spot on the path, but you're gonna get a one-stroke penalty for lifting the ball when you weren't operating under a rule. So just keep that in mind and do yourself a favor and take just an extra second or two to evaluate the situation before you start making any moves. Mistake number two has to do with locating the nearest point of complete relief and it's thinking that you get to choose which side of the cart path to drop on when your ball lies right in the middle of it. And that's the thing with the nearest point of complete relief. It's a spot that must be strictly interpreted and it's different for each player. So if I were to simulate my next stroke on both sides of the path here, the spot on the left side is much closer than the spot on the right which makes it my nearest point of complete relief and the side of the path that I dropped the ball on. But check this out, if we had the same exact scenario but I was a left-handed player, the spot on the right side of the path would be much closer than the spot on the left, therefore a lefty player in this situation would drop on the right side of the path. Mistake number three is measuring from the wrong place. Even in high-level amateur events, I've seen players take relief from a cart path by measuring their one club length from the edge of the path. But doing that would create areas where you'd still have interference with the cart path. So instead, you measure your one club length from the nearest point of complete relief. This creates a relief area that no matter where the ball lies, would still give you complete relief from the path. Mistake number four actually relates to mistake number one, and it's thinking that because you're taking relief, you are guaranteed a playable next shot. When you take relief from something, you'll typically receive better conditions and a better shot, but you're definitely not guaranteed that. In some cases, taking relief can actually result in worse conditions and a worse shot. As in this case, my nearest point of of complete relief is to the right side of the path and my relief area is full of these really thick bushes that run down the right side. If I were to drop this ball, there's a chance that I might not even be able to advance it. And that's just a bad break. The rules don't care if there are rocks or bushes or some other obstacle impacting your next shot. The rules only care about giving you relief from whatever you're taking relief from. And if the ball lies in this relief area, you would have complete relief from the cart path in the correct area of the course. So the rule has given you what you're entitled to, it just might not be ideal, but you just have to remember that it's the nearest point and not the nicest point. If there's a mistake that you think should be included on this list, let me know in the comments down below. Please like this video if you got any value out of it. Subscribe if you want to learn more golf rules, and I'll see you in the next one.